Ryo is a pretty interesting character who has had his ups and downs. Now what if we'd make that low of his even lower? Let's speculate what would happen if Kunigami got picked by Shidu instead of Ryo. So since Nagise Shiro has already betrayed him, he has no place to go to, really. He has lost to Nagi, Isagi, and Baru, so he's already failed to even get his desired revenge. And to put the icing on the cake, now he has lost against Shido and Igaguri without getting picked for their team in the process. Everything is coming to him at once as he breaks down while walking towards the exit. He sees the existence of the wild card now, as he gets determined to walk through that door because he still wants revenge on Nagi, so he goes in there trains really hard. And then, when the Neo-Egoist League gets announced, he comes back out of it just like Kunigami did, with a look on his face that emanates killing intent. Nagi walks up to Ryo to check in with his friend that he hasn't seen in a long time, eager to tell him about what happened in the U-20 match. But Ryo brushes him off and stands in a corner, listening to Ego Jinpachi explaining the Neo-Egoist League. Ego has finished his speech now, and Ryo ponders which team he should join. It's my belief that because he has built his body up inside of the wild card, he doesn't really need much from Chris, and he wouldn't be too interested in the speed and dash that England is known for. So instead he decides to go to Bastard Munchen. Not only because it's literally the biggest league in Europe in terms of teams and everything, but their philosophy wouldn't be as bad for him either. As we all know, Bastard Munchen's philosophy is all about rationality. And because he's been to the wild card, his perspective and opinion have changed drastically. He has a really solid body now, which makes him eager to be like Noel Noah for real. He gets into the endurance test, and I think he would score just a bit lower than Kunigami since his body before the wild card was actually better than his before the wild card. So I personally think he would be someone around sixth place, which is still really good, considering the fact that he would literally be seven places above Yukimiya, who sat in 13th and boasted the second best numbers from the Blue Lockers. I believe that just like Kunigami, Ryo would get to be in the starting lineup because he boasts better numbers than literally half of the bastard Munchen players. As soon as the game got about 10 minutes in, Noel Noah realized that Ryo was actually much better for the striker position now, as the clips he had seen from Ryo before he had joined the wild card suggested. Ryo manages to fit pretty well inside of Bastard Munchen's system. I don't believe Ryo would be soloing and being as eager to score as Kunigami. Since Ryo's objective is simply crushing Nagi, he would want to boast around as soon as he plays against England. So in this game, he decided to observe the field instead and try to coexist with the other players. Bachira still scores his first goal with the B-shot, of course, and after that, Kaiser makes his first goal too, like normal. But now Lavigno and Noel Noah get into the game. Rio can see the level of their play in a first-row seat, so he pays close attention. Those goals go as usual too, with Lavigno scoring the second goal and Noel Noah making his after that. So this is the part where Rio gets pumped up, Isagi gets into the game as well now. Ryo gets very mad and frustrated because he was the cause of Nagi betraying him. Now, Ryo wants to crush Isagi Yoichi as well, so the game restarts and Ryo gets the ball at his feet. He moves up the field on his own, showing off the physical prowess he's gained throughout the wild card. He gets into the box now, but Michael Kaiser tries to deny his shot, just like he's done with Isagi. The ball bounces to the left side of the box and Asagi Yoichi happened to be at that place since he was tailing Ryo anyway. So he uses that opportunity to score his first goal in the Neo Egoist League. Ryo is absolutely fuming right now. He goes up to Asagi, grabs him by his shirt, shouts at him, and breaks down, telling him that it's all his fault that Nagi betrayed him and everything. He throws him onto the ground as well, but Jinpachi Ego gives a warning to Ryo so he doesn't use violence again. I'll use this moment to quickly ask you guys that if you are liking my content so far and wish to support me, subscribe to the channel. Now back to the video. Now we fast forward to the moment that Ryo has been waiting for all this time. He can finally go up against his lost possession Nagi Seishiro. So the game starts and he straight up goes to Mark Nagi. A Manshine player passes the ball to Nagi as he rainbow flicks the ball over Ryo and passes it to the left side for Chigiri to score with his 44 shot. Ryo breaks down again but musters up enough courage to stand back up again to turn the game on its head. 
Bastard Munchen has the ball now, as Isagi and Corona steamroll through the field with their planet hotline. Ryo goes up to Isagi to steal the ball from him, and he succeeds because Isagi couldn't use Metavision consciously just yet. He goes up into the penalty area, only for the ball to get stolen by Nagi Seishiro, who moved down the field because he anticipated Ryo to do that. Music now Ryo gets even more frustrated. Imagined. It's Manshine's counterattack now as Nagi moves up with the ball. He goes on to play around with AGI, steamrolling through the bastard Munchen players together. At some point, AGI passes the ball to Nagi to score the goal, but Isagi anticipated that and blocks the shot off with his face. It's the second ball now, Kaiser gets it and proceeds to move up the field with Ness. But this time, Isagi stole the ball from Ness around the midfield area and moves up on his own. Ryo has moved into the penalty area now. Isagi acknowledges his presence since he doesn't want to pass to Kaiser, but he sees that Yukimiya is up there too. So he shifts his focus to Yukimiya instead and passes the ball. Yukimiya proceeds to score through his gyro shot, which brought Bastard Munchen into the lead. Now Manshine City gets the ball as AGI and Nagi move up together once again. This time AGI does a cross pass into the penalty area. Nagi traps it, makes a turn, and scores the second goal for Manshine City. Ryo didn't get to do much this match, which now makes him awaken. The Master Striker gets onto the field as well. Before the game restarts, Noel Noah tells them that he will side with the most rational player. So Ryo was thinking deeply about how he could make sure that Noel Noah will recognize and team up with him to destroy Nagi Seishiro. The game restarts now as Noel Noah and Kaiser move up the field. They've created a triangle now as they get through Manshine City pretty easily. But Chris Prince was waiting at the defense line. He ends up stealing the ball away and Manshine moves up the field. Chris passes the ball to Nagi now, but this time Ryo manages to snatch the ball away in his awakened chameleon state. So he moves up the field eagerly, trying to get past the defenders. Noel Noah has recognized Ryo's strength now and chooses to team up with him. Because of that, they were able to clear the defense easily as Ryo scores the final goal by stealing Yukimiya's gyro shot. After the match, Nagi goes up to Ryo, telling him that he's done a good job. But Ryo ignores him as he moves out of the field. In the next couple of matches, Ryo asserts himself well into Bastard Munchen's system and ends up making amends with both Isagi Yoichi and Nagi Saishiro after all the matches were finished. If you resonate with my content, consider subscribing. I'm out. Peace.